everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of my Christmas series. If you are new to this channel, I say welcome. I am pretty new as well. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Today, I would like to show you guys how to do mint wellington. I mean, there is no Christmas without pastry, you know. So come on, let's talk about the ingredients you would be needing for your meat wellington. So over here, I have got some freshly ground minced meat. I also have some white and black pepper. I have some garlic and onion powder. You could use fresh garlic or fresh onion. I have some seasoning granules and a pinch of salt. And here, mixed herbs, spring onion, one beaten egg. I'm going to be using just three quarters of the beaten egg. The other quarter I shall use to glaze and to seal up the mint wellington and a bit of flour as well for dusting. Now, today I'll be using puff pastry. And do not be confused, there is a difference between puff pastry and short crust pastry. That is a video for another day. And where are those moms who do not have the time to make their own pastries or dirty up their hands? Sisters, I've got you covered. Today we shall be working on store-bought pastry. And you know, so the only thing you have to really worry about now is your feeling. The next thing I'm gonna do is to put in my seasoning in the meat and then mix it all up. Now, you could add some vegetables into your meat, some carrots, maybe potatoes, uh, but I decided to do it plain. You know, sometimes you do have some kids who can be very fussy. They do eat carrots and, you know, other veggies, but they just don't like it in the main swelling. So I've left it plain. And when I mix it up, I will then transfer it onto my pastry that will be well rolled out. pastry all I'm going to do is to mold the meat onto the pastry and I'll bring the sides together I put the meat <laughs> Take the other side. And you'll see what I'm going to do with this excess. I would do a little blanket for. Ah, uh, well it's a it's quite a sticky pastry I didn't even need to seal it with the egg what I'll do with the egg will be just to glaze the wellington so now what I'm going to do I will transfer this onto a grease proof tray and you have to be a bit dexterous here it can be tricky so I'll use this and fold it over and there you go place it nicely 
And I'm going to do a little blanket with this. I'll see you in a bit. And so with the excess pastry, you can do very many things. You could decide to cut out little Christmas trees within the Christmas, you know. You could do some um, holy leaves. You could even carve out Merry Christmas. But with my little gadget, I will do something I think is better. I just love things looking nice and decorative. So, uh, you see? Make sure I'll take up uh, this excess bit here. I'm just trying to see. Okay, that should be good. Now you want to glaze your uh, Wellington, remains Wellington, and this is the excess air. Remember we had one egg, I used three quarters of it, and this one quarter I am using now to glaze the pastry. And it's going to act as a glue for this other piece you see here. I'm trying to open it up and now you just gently open it up to relieve a beautiful lattice pattern you gently place it over So the more you spread it out, the more beautiful the pattern is revealed. And you just work on the edges and tidy it up. Now I have to glaze this lovely pattern. And after that, we'll put it in the oven, a preheated oven, for about 30 minutes and then cover it up in foil and let it cook for another 30 minutes. The thing is you must remember that we've got raw meat in there and you don't want the pastry to go brown before the meat is actually cooked. So give it 30 minutes and then you wrap it up for another 30 minutes. So here you go guys. Our end product now, beautiful means Wellington. I'm sure your guests will be craving for more. Um, I left this in the oven for exactly one hour, 25 minutes. So you want to really pay attention to the time. And of course, it depends on the heat of your oven. Now, I'm sure you will be dying to see what it looks like inside. Why don't you come closer? To serve it, you can decide to eat it dry or you may want to add a little bit of gravy over your piece. It depends entirely on you. And so guys, 
I'm wishing you all a Merry Christmas. I do post videos every Friday. And if you've not subscribed yet, please do so in order not to miss out. Take care. I love you all very much. Merry Christmas.